What is happening and welcome to Four Wheel Drive Talk episode 42. Now, at the risk of sounding like my son, I get a lot of, Daddy, would you rather, I get a lot of rather question, but I'm going to ask you the same. Would you rather go on off-roading in a electric doom buggy, a all-electric Jeep, or a beefed-up pickup? That's a, pr I mean, that's a legitimate tough choice. Now in today's edition, we're going to be talking about that here on 4 Drive Talk. We're going to discuss about each of these types of off-roaders and what upcoming models do they have to offer. But first friends, look, every single week we put together short little bite-sized little newsreels like this to keep you entertained, informed as far as what is happening currently in the industry. Now of course, if we are successful and friend, you want to, you feel you're gonna hit that like button. It really does help with the whole, you know, I had to think about where I was gonna go with that, but you get, you know where I'm leaning with this. It really helps with the channel and we really appreciate it. That said, my friends, let's shift gears and uh, let's get on to this week's headlines. Now, if you're a fan of off-roading history, you know the name Myers Manx. Now, the original Myers Manx, uh, which was released in the mid-1960s, was the ultimate doom buggy. It was lightweight, cheap, and a blasted drive. Hell, my first introduction to this was, uh, I keep thinking back, it's funny, as I'm, when we cover stories like this on this particular vehicle, um, or uh, we had a feature that we did a little while back, I always come, to, I was born in the early 70s, and my first view of this thing was with Scooby-Doo, somebody in there was driving around with one of these things, but anyways, actually I think it drove itself around, but aside the point. Now Myers Makes is making a comeback and this time friends, as you probably guess it, this thing is all electric. Now while the buggy is all modern underneath, its outward appearance, man, it looks vintage. Now up front are two bug-eyed headlights mounted on a curry body. Now you have big tires for driving in the sand, which are also part of the package. And when you compare the original Myers Manx to what you see right now today, you can see quite a bit of similarities. Now there's going to be two battery sizes available with this thing. You have a 20 kilowatt hour and you have a 40 kilowatt hour. Now the 40 kilowatt hour battery offers up to a 300 range, which is actually pretty stinking awesome. 202 horsepower and 240 pounds of torque. Now at this time though, the specs on the 20 kilowatt hour battery really haven't been released. And obviously with, with uh, the range on that, with the 20 kilowatt, as we get more details, we'll keep you guys informed on that. But both versions of the new Myers Manx will have two motors uh, and they're going to be rear wheel drive. Now this thing looks like it would be an absolute blast in hell super fast to go ripping around it as well. Now, if you want to learn more about the history of Meyer Makes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a link to an article on Four Wheel Drive Talk that we drafted up uh, or published some time ago. And I'm going to put a link on that in the description which I think I just said that, but I'll also put a link uh, to Myers Manx if you want to get more details on the current buggy as well. Now, a couple years ago, Jeep introduced the Wrangler 4XE. This was a plug-in hybrid version of its iconic off-roader. Now, well now, Jeep is going all electric with the new Wrangler EV that is set to debut in 2024. Now, if you keep tabs on the annual uh, Jeep Easter Safari in Moab, you know that each of the last two years, they have featured a prototype all-electric Wrangler called Magneto, which was actually technically the name in 2021, and Magneto 2.0 this year. Now, the first Magneto concept, you know, while it looked awesome, it, let's be real here, it lacked power. It only had 285 horses and 273 foot-pounds of torque. But Magneto 2.0, man, Jeep stepped it up here. They doubled down. They showed what is possible with a all-electric Wrangler with a auxiliary, or excuse me, an axial flux motor that is capable of 624 horsepower and 850 pounds of torque. That is the kind of power that you need for taking a ring off-road and just having a blast with it. Now, there's really no confirmation from Jeep regarding which motor will make it into production Wranglers, 
Perhaps both of them will. Uh, you have the yeah, kind of the less powerful one for the base models, and you have the more powerful one for the full on um, beast mode. Get out there, have a blast. Now, what we do know for sure is this the Wrangler EV is going to be built with aftermarket goodies in mind. I mean, when you think about the ecosystem of aftermarket parts for Jeeps, it's absolutely massive. There are far too many companies that really make killer accessories for the Wrangler for Jeep to change its styling, suspension, and so forth. So despite being an all-electric rig, count on the Wrangler EV to look like its gas-powered brother. Now the great thing about having a full-size truck for off-roading is that there is so much space for your gear in the bed. And then when you don't aren't tearing up the trails, you have a vehicle that you can tow your boat, your jet ski, camper, or hell, whatever the hell you want to tow. Now the Chevy Silverado Bison is a collaboration between Chevy and American Expedition Vehicles, and it should be really sometime next year with a price tag around $78,500 range. And I, I know what you're asking, well, Alex, what do I get for my money? Well, the Bison comes with powder-coated stamped steel bumpers, built-in recovery points and steps, and there's a spot in the front so you can put some sort of winch up there. Now, the truck sports 18-inch wheels, 33-inch uh, Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires, and there's also five skid plates underneath this thing, each of which is made from hot stamped boron steel. Now, there's even steel rocker panels to protect the lower sides of this truck as well. So. It's really well thought out for getting off road. Now you can expect the approach and departure angles of around 32.5 degrees and 23.4 degrees respectively, both of which are improvements over the stock Silverado. Now the truck also gets upgraded Multimatic DSSV spool valve dampeners and springs. Now let's kind of shift gears and talk about the good stuff underneath the hood. This beast is or has a 6.2 liter V8 that puts down 420 horsepower and 460 foot pounds of torque. So hell, there's gonna be really no lack of power. And again, the Silverado Bison will come out sometime next year. Now we're gonna keep you guys informed as we get more information on a firm date as that is announced. In friends, that is all I have for headlines this week. You know what, actually, before we get into the giveaway stuff here, in the beginning of this, this video, I asked, which would you rather have? The Doom Buggy, the all-electric Jeep, or the Beast of a Bison, or the Silverado Bison pickup? Now, I'm gonna ask you, now, now that you've seen or heard what is happening with each of these companies here, um, leave a comment below, which if you had a choice, if somebody said here, here are the keys to one of these vehicles, you can have it, get out there, have fun, rip around in it. Which would you choose? The Doom Buggy, the electric Doom Buggy, the electric Jeep, or the Silverado Bison pickup truck? Leave a comment down below. And with uh, before we go jumping off here, as I mentioned, let's uh, let's take a look at. We have three excellent prizes. We have this giveaway that's going on right now, uh, and the three prizes are: we have the Peak Design 35 liter duffel bag, we have the three Peak Refuel meals, and of course the hundred dollar. Amazon gift card. Now, as always, friends, we make it super easy for you to be able to participate and join all the action with these giveaways. To enter the giveaway is really simple. Uh, step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chance that you have to win. So, hell, get watching some more other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on 4 Drive Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to have registered on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But friend, as I keep saying over and over again, swing on by, say hello. We would love to see you. And that is it. Now for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on 4 Drive Talk or how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. Good luck. And friends, that is is it for me here today. So I'm gonna be jumping out of my office. Now, if you found some value with this video and uh, you know, it's time for all the YouTube stuff, hit that like button down below. We really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, friend, we would love to have you part of the family. And by hitting the bell down below, you're not gonna miss any of our upcoming future content that we will have on our, or that we're gonna be publishing here. So yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. You know what? I'm thinking that Doom Buggy would be a lot of fun. I'm up for me. Honestly, the Silverado Bison, it looks like a badass truck. 
I would, I'm on the fence between if Jeep can, because the, with the electric Jeep, there's no mention of the, the range on this thing. We couldn't find anything on the range. Um, but with that little doom buggy, 300 miles, shit, that is bad ass. So if the Jeep had a decent range and I had some means of charging, I guess that would apply towards the doom buggy as well. Either way, I'm, I'm on the fence between the doom buggy and the Jeep. Either or would be a lot of fun. When you look at the size of the Jeep, assuming the range is pretty decent, you have a, actually you no, know, I think I would go to the Jeep because you have a buttload more power, but the range needs to be there. If the range isn't there, go with the, go with the Doom Buggy. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna be turning off the camera so you get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.